Hello, this is Dora Tarver from e-projectmanagers.com here with a video tutorial on how to report using multiple baselines. So by default, if you create a report in Microsoft Project, it's going to use the first baseline. But let's say you have already baselined your project and you have a second, third, or fourth baseline that you'll want to use inside of your report. How do you do that? In this example, we're going to look at how to create a budget report using uh, baseline number four. So in this example, this is a sample project schedule. And as you know, when you go to the report menu option and select reports, if you were doing a budget report, you would select cost. And here's the budget report. Now, if you are going to select this report, you click on select and project loads that report. And you can see by default, these are the columns that are in that report. But notice this says baseline. So that means whatever data you have in your project schedule is going to be relating to the first baseline that you have. Okay. However, if you have baselined your project schedule um, more than once, then you'll want to report using the other baselines. Now, as you know, if you want to baseline your project, you would go to Tools and select Tracking, and there's an option here that says Set Baseline. If you click on Set Baseline, you'll notice that you can select which baseline number that you're going to baseline. Let's pretend that we have a baseline number four. So if I go ahead and click on OK, and then I insert the baseline four, if I scroll down here and select, here's baseline one, baseline two, baseline three, baseline four. So let's select baseline four, finish date. Click on OK. Now notice that in my schedule, my baseline finish date matches my current date. Um, if I had made any changes to my schedule, notice that my original baseline finish date here says, actually let's choose this one, says June 11th. However, my current finish date reads June 12th. So now my baseline, my fourth baseline, which I just took, the snapshot which I just took, shows June 4th. Okay. Now, if I had, let me show my view bar, resources in this project schedule with dollar amounts assigned to them. Let me go ahead and put in some dollar amounts here so that we can see costs in the report that we're going to run. Whoops. Give me one moment here. Just typing in some data. Okay. Now going back to the Gantt chart view. So I have my project schedule and now I want to run a report. Now Again, going back to reports, if I was running the budget report, if I select budget, if I click on the edit button, this shows me that this budget report uses the cost table. So what you need to do is look at the cost table. If you go into view, table entry, more tables, and select the cost table, if you click on edit, you can see what's inside of the cost table. And notice that it's using baseline cost, not baseline four. So instead of editing this table, what I recommend is you make a copy of it. So backing up again, if you go to view, table entry, more tables, you can select the cost table and then make a copy of it and call it your baseline. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this baseline for costs. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the baseline cost field to be my baseline number four cost because that's where my current schedule is. So I'm scrolling down till I find baseline four cost. Here it is. So I'm changing baseline cost to baseline four cost because that's where I am in my project schedule. I'm in my fourth baseline. And if you scroll down to look to see if there are any other baseline fields, you'll see there are no other in the cost table. 
So what we did now is we replaced the default first baseline with our current fourth baseline. Likewise, if you were doing a baseline 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you would select whichever one that you want to report on. So now that I have this column here, I'm going to click on OK and click on apply, uh, click on close. You don't want to click on apply because we don't want to change our view here. So just click on close. That's been created. Now when I go back to my report, I select reports, cost, and budget. Now I can go to edit the budget report and change the table from the cost table to my baseline for cost table because that's the table that has the baseline for cost showing in it. Okay, so I'm simply switching the table for the budget report. I can rename the port to say budget report, you know, for baseline four, you know, if I wanted to, it's up to you. And then I uh, click on OK. And when I go to uh, run the report by clicking on select and zoom in, Oh, one of the things I didn't do, let me let me actually back up. I'm going to change in my table so that you can see, going back to view, table entry, more tables. I'm going to change the column header, so I'm going to click on edit, for baseline 4. Right now it just says baseline, and I'm going to change the title to say baseline 4. So when I click on the title, in the title column, I see baseline. Up here I can edit it, type number 4. Now it says baseline 4. So I click on OK. Click on apply. Oops, <laughs> I didn't want to apply that. I just need to click on OK. Then go back to report. Click on reports. Select cost. Select budget. And if I go to run this report, actually, the table wasn't refreshed. Let me go back. Select cost. Select budget. Click on edit. Oh, okay. So it's showing the cost table by default. I'm going to select baseline for cost. Click on OK. And then uh, click on select to view the report. And now I can see baseline four is the baseline column that's showing here. Okay. Now if I click close and come out of here, if I add some data into this project schedule, right now everything's at zero percent. But let me just go ahead and fill some, copy some things down so I have some data. Click on report, cost. Okay, let me assign resources. There are no resources here. Move this over. Scroll over a little bit. Yeah, there are no resources. So let me put some resources in here so there'll be cost associated with, uh, actually we'll use the, uh, the resource management toolbar. Click select and we'll put, um, we'll select, we'll assign Amir and Bob and Dimitri, close, come down here, and uh, we'll assign this person, and that person, and this person, just so we have some data so that you can see. Okay, so now I have some resources in here. Now when I go to the report and click on cost, budget, again I'll need to <coughs> Okay, so the baseline four column table is selected. Click on OK, click on select. And this is the report. I'm zooming in. It has some data in here because I for some of our placeholder tasks I assigned some resources. So now you can see um, some data in here. But in your own report, when you have a project schedule, a working project schedule, and you run a report, you'll see data in here. But the main point is now I have a baseline four column here, and the data that's in baseline four will appear here. Um, when we run that report. Okay, so now my project schedule, I can actually hide these two baseline columns because I'm working with baseline four. So I will insert the baseline four start column. Oop. Baseline four start. And we have the baseline four finish already displaying. And um, that's what we will show in our project schedule. Okay, so this is how you, when you baseline your project schedule multiple times, if you want to use the report 
functionality. Simply select the report you want, click on the report, select edit, notice which table is being used, and then go back and create a copy of that table and change the any baseline columns in that table, copy table, to the baseline number that you're working on. Okay, so I hope that's clear. If you have any questions or if you uh, want to know something else, feel free to contact me. This is Dora Tarver at e-projectmanagers.com. Have an excellent day.